Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming, and welcome back to our channel. For today's Hero Spotlight, we are going to discuss about Anastasia. So over here, in the Journals button on the right side portion of the screen, just press this one and press the very first one, which is Heroes. This is the Heroes Journal. You will be able to see all of the list of the heroes available in Exos Heroes. So this is Anastasia. <laughs> it turned out well. And first, we are going to check out her skill set. Her passive is False Life grants heal over time to self that heals for 8% of own max health. Every turn for 4 turns when own health falls to 70% or below after receiving damage, one time per 2 rounds. And there's this special resets own turn if there are no living allies with 50% or more health. After an ally besides self, Receives damage 1 time per battle, grants mana, 3 mana, if activated during round 1. So this is like an emergency purposes activation. So if there are... Uh, okay, I'm just going to put this in a different... In different words, I mean. So if you have all your allies at 50% or below, besides herself, so she'll be able to gain 3 mana. Okay. Her first skill, this is Frozen Tear. Heals all allies by 24% of own max health and grants a barrier equal to 24% of own max health for 3 turns. So no wonder she's really annoying. <laughs> because if she activates this one, it's kind of difficult to defeat your enemies. Well, if Anastasia is one of your enemies, or the in the enemy's team, I mean. And for the second skill, it's Sorceress Desperado. Deals 262% damage to one enemy and heals one ally with the lowest current health by 51% of own max health. So she's a total healer. And I can say that she's really one of the best healer there is in the game. So this is what she looks like. She looks like a little princess. She has this mini crown on top of her head. <laughs> For the appearance effect. <laughs> it turned out well. Second Princess of Greenland, Anastasia. And this is the default mode. And this is the battle mode. She kind of looks like a magical girl, right? <laughs> so this is the illustration. And then, for the skill preview, this is the basic attack and the first skill. Okay, there's the shield and then, this is the second skill. So she suddenly becomes she she suddenly becomes evil. <laughs> you know she has this really sweet personality. She's like a very kind girl, but there's something in her. <laughs> so we are going to check out the hero story. Cleric Anastasia, sexist female, nation is Greenland hero tier, fated or fated great hero. Element is frost. She's 14 years old. Oh, 14, pretty young. Race is elf. Position is support or support type hero. His uh, her birthday is on November twenty seven. The second princess of Greenland and the younger sister of Battery. So just so you know, well I'm pretty sure everyone knows this already. As soon as she was born and could barely recognize where she is, Battery was already showered praised by others for showing outstanding talent. In her early days, Anastasia was a tomboy, causing headache to others because of her pestering. So she's quite annoying when she was a little child. <laughs> People cited at her behavior, wishing that she could be at least half as her good. Oh wait, as half as good as Battery, <laughs> as her sister. Due to the expectations reflected upon her, Anastasia began to change over time. Her bad attitudes, such as harassing others and acting out at her pleasure, disappeared, and she became quiet. Instead of running through the hall, she read books in her room and grows plants. She also greeted everyone warmly and talks 
with a smile. People were perplexed but delighted as Anastasia's dramatic changes. Anastasia had a beauty of her mother and sister and as calmed down, she became beloved by her people. More and more people started to like Anastasia for her kindness and attractiveness as well. Far more than Battery, who was too cold-hearted as far as children went. After Battery left for Lenombe as a king's guard, Anastasia attended various national events as the acting successor to the throne. At such events, she behaved friendly to everyone and gained more popularity. As Anastasia grew in popularity, some people said it was a pity that she wasn't as talented as her sister, while others said that it was rather blissful for Anastasia. Bathory's position as the successor was solid and most people did not disagree with that. Anastasia told the people disappointed with the decision that she was happy she could help her wonderful sister from behind the scenes. Anastasia is staying in Greenland and waits for her sister to return home while assisting in royal affairs. But you know guys, this story here really describes Anastasia as a very caring and supportive sister to Battery, really. But in the chapter story, I think this is a total opposite because I don't know based from what I saw in the chapter stories, particularly around chapter 31 or was it chapter 32, Anastasia really caused quite a trouble in Greenland and it wasn't really nice. And at the end, something really happened that is very very bad to Battery. So I'm not sure if I can consider her as a really good sister who's waiting for her elder sister to come home. <laughs> So that's just my personal thought. So we are going to check out her different fate cores. She has around two. One is from the first Guardian fate core theme. You can see here, Anastasia has a black fate core. Ignite or Ignite Anastasia. Anastasia from the parallel world where the Ignite lineage was has awakened. So it says her Ignite, but over here it's Ignite. It says that her light implied mercy to her allies and doom to her enemies and you can see the passive here false life it has an additional passive dragon scale grants a barrier equal to 20 percent of own max health for six turns upon receiving damage one time per round stacks up to three times and if she's with rera you'll be able to benefit eye of the dragon which increases hit of all allies equipped with the dragon emperor knight's fate for team well, if she's with Zeon, she'll be able to gain this. Dragon Howling increases counter rate of all allies equipped with the Dragon Emperor Knight's favorite team. So we're going to check her out further. This is the Black Fate Core of Anastasia under the Dragon Emperor Knight's favorite team. This is really stunning, really. When I first played Exos Heroes and saw Anastasia, I was like, wow. Just look at her outfit, it really looks nice. She looks like a saint, a daring saint to be exact, but overall it really looks nice. This is far, by far, the best costume I've seen for priestesses. Well, so far. And for the appearance effect, Ignite Anastasia. This is the default mode and this is the battle mode. And for her exclusive equipment, you can see this. Even her staff exclusive equipment, it really really looks nice. I really like it. So we're just going to check out the exclusive equipment. Eternal Gloria. Mm, just by the name itself, it really sounds saintly. <laughs> So this is Anastasia's exclusive equipment. You can purchase this for 20,000 says and her attack will be increased by 30 and combat power will be increased by 10,000 when equipped. It says here Anastasia's exclusive equipment, a staff infused with the power of Ignit represents light to the good and eternal darkness to the evil. So I'm not pretty quite sure. Is it Ignit or Ignite? So we are going to equip her exclusive equipment. And we are going to check out her skill preview. 
So this is the basic attack and you can see it's more of a light element or golden color. And that's the first skill. Now for the second skill. A baptism of blood from the heathens. It really looks heavenly, right? So that's the Black Fate Core of Anastasia under the first Guardian Faker theme or Dragon Emperor's Faker theme and she also has another one. This is under the Silent Eyes Faker theme also. So currently we have this Core, core Raid Extend. It's an event and if I were you, do participate in it because it will probably be the last. So we have here Frozen Heart Anastasia, Anastasia during when she was still a member of the Dragon Watcher. She spontaneously ag agreed to join in order to get away from her family. But she was accepted in quickly. What? Well, okay. But she was accepted in quickly thanks to her natural talents and bloodline. So that's the little description or background. And if you can see the passive, there's this own pass, additional passive here. Afflicts target attack by self with silence for 4 turns, 1 time per round. The target is already silenced, grants 1 mana for self after afflicting silence. And if she's with Dorka in the same team, she'll be able to benefit this unrivaled, increases attack speed of all allies equipped with silent eyes favorite team. So there are only 3 characters. And Dorka has the gold fate core. Now we are going to check her out further over here in the hero introduction. You can see Anastasia. So I really think that before it was said or released as Anastasia, uh, we can only see the pictures. There was uh, there were no names yet. So we really thought that it was Battery, the younger version of Battery. But <laughs> we were wrong. It's in fact Anastasia. So this is the appearance effect and you can see there's this grayish blue effect, Frozen Heart Anastasia. And this is the default mode and this is the battle mode. So it's pretty much the same based on the Dragon Emperor's Faker theme and for her faded version. Now for the exclusive equipment, it has this design and again, there's this eye. I like design. And we are going to check this out in the exclusive equipment button. You can see Frozen Conqueror. Anastasia exclusive equipment, a special staff that was secretly crafted under Zeradin's command. It resonates with the wielder's mind and grants unimaginable power to the true master who has been accepted. This costs about 20,000 cents. And if you happen to equip this to Anastasia, her attack will be increased by 30 and combat power by 10,000. So we are just going to equip this one before we are going to check out her skill preview. So there's this eye design that I mentioned twice already. <laughs> no wonder it's the silent eyes. So we are going to check out her skill animation. Oh, that's quite different. And she, she's twirling her staff. That's the basic attack, by the way. Do your best to endure the cold. So this is the first skill. It has lots of ice effects, and I really like it. You've drawn now for the second skill. Back then, I really thought that she's going to transform. <laughs> so this is the Black Fate Core of Anastasia under the Silent Ice Maker theme. Now we are just going to check out if she is she has an orange Maker theme. Okay, so there's none. No orange faker theme for 
Anastasia. Now we are going to check out the managed hero bot because King I happen to have a copy. You won't defeat me so easily. Everything in God's plan. So I have here Anastasia. I just dyed her costume to pink because I don't know. It kind of looks nice. <laughs> And then for the artifact, you know, she is a support type hero or fate for. Therefore, there are different support type artifacts there is there. It's up to you which one you're going to use or what's available in your inventory. So I already have the black fate core of Anastasia under the Dragon Emperor Knight's fate core team and fused it to 5 already and I also have one extra copy and as for the Silent Eyes version fate core team I only have one copy well actually it's two because I already fused them to level 1 so currently I'm using the one from the first guardian or the Dragon Emperor Knight when it comes to her equipment or gear sets I happen to use 4 vitality sets and 1 fortification set because I think I base this on her passive which says here grants a barrier equal to 20% of own maximum health of her own health and also based from her first skill heals all allies 24% of own maximum health and grants a barrier equal to 24% of own maximum health so her skills are based on her HP so therefore we need to make her HP as high as possible so that's why I placed here three sets of vitality set I mean two sets of vitality set and one fortification set if you want to make it three sets of vitality set it's really good you can just choose among the following so she since she's a support type hero since she's a front also therefore we want to make her tanky and in that way, we need to use gear sets that are of the tanky side, which is Vitality set, Fortification set, or Effect Resist set. It's really up to you, but I would suggest you need to use Vitality set on her because we want to make her HP as high as possible. So again, we are going to focus on the three special gears, particularly the gloves, accessories, and the boots because they have a particular main option that we need to look for. It really depends if your hero is a damage dealing hero or a support hero or tank and we want to make them tanky because as for the this one the weapon helmet and armor they have a fixed main option so for the main option for gloves look for HP in percent and for the substats these four lines go for HP defense effect resist and attack speed and if you can see this over here <laughs> Don't mind this because this is not really useful for her. It's so it's just so that I don't use Anastasia as often, so I just put that there. And when it comes to the accessories, you can put effect resist in order for her not to be afflicted with any status effect attacks such as poison. Modification, especially from the Summer Fest of Acre team. We will be turning your characters or heroes into ducks or fishes so we don't want that to happen especially for the healers or supporters in order for them to keep on healing so effect resist as high as probably 90 percent and above for the substats you can see here it's really more on the damage dealing side critical hit rate effect hit attack because if i have if i want to change this or if i happen i'm going to change this in the future therefore i'm going to look for more hp lines Defense lines, effect resist, and attack speed. Now for the boots, it says here attack speed, so this is okay. If you want to change this to HP in percent, you can do so. Again, for the substats, these four lines for every gear piece. Don't copy mine because you can see this is more on the damage dealing side. It has a lot of attack and I can see a lot of critical hit rate. So Make your Anastasia tanky by looking for gears that has HP, defense, effect resist, and attack speed lines. And since she's under Nordbond Frosty, you would want to make your signature force of Nordbond Frosty max. You, you really need to have a lot of copies of Shufraken or Momoring for that. And since she's under Nordbond Frosty, 
The blue fate core that you're going to need is blue fate core Topaki because he will give buffs to heroes from Nordbound Frosty. And since Anastasia is a support type hero, you might want to get blue fate core Kaya because she gives buffs to support type heroes. Whichever nation they are from as long as they are a support type fate core or hero, therefore they will be able to benefit from it. And also don't forget about the Unleash Potential board because this is really important for every hero. Especially if you're going to use them. It's worth investing. So that will be all guys for today. We'll discuss about Anastasia, her ever glorious and heavenly looking costume. I still really like this, even up to now. <laughs> this is very unique. By far, I haven't seen any priest or support, it, support type characters from other games using this really nice costume. <laughs> well, Please do not forget to subscribe to my Twitch channel and also for my YouTube channel as well where you can see all of my mobile game and console game adventures. This is Bear Gaming. Have a great day everyone.